Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from screencastworld.com. In this short tutorial I'll show you how to enable template path and block name hints. Template path hints are tags which, when enabled, show you which file a specific element is stored. Enabling block names will also show you which block is being used for the particular area of the screen you're interested in. Anyone developing themes or templates for the Magento Commerce platform will find this integrated feature extremely useful. Whether you're just making a minor tweak to your site, or you're creating a theme from scratch, having template path and block names enabled can save you a lot of time. So here we can see a default installation of Magento with three categories and one product. So to enable template path hints, you want to log into your admin panel, which I've done so here. Uh, navigate to System and Configuration. The template path and block names can only be enabled for a website view, so in the current scope we need to change from the default config to our main website. Okay, so you need to scroll down to the bottom and click on Developer. And now expand the Debug tab. And here we can see that we've got the Profiler, the template path hints and the add block name to hints. By default everything's set to No. So if we enable template path hints by dropping down and selecting yes and then uh, hitting the save config button. Now if we go back to our main website and just refresh. So you can see here that the template path hints have been enabled. These are the bits in red. And it shows us exactly which file each element of the page is located in. So if you want to edit any of these you can just open them up in your favourite text editor. Make your changes. Save them. Hit, come in here and hit refresh and uh, the changes should take effect. So let's go back to our admin panel and this time we're also going to enable the block name hints. So we'll just select yes from the drop down, again hit the save config button. Now if we go back to our main website and refresh again, we've now got the block name hints. So these are the blocks that appear within each of these files. And again, this can be really useful just to nail down where in the source code you need to be looking for any particular area of the website. So if you do enable template path hints and or block names, everyone visiting the site will see them. Now this isn't going to be much of an issue if this is an offline test or development environment, but not so great when you're working on a live website. So you need to limit the path hints and block names so that they only show up to your developers and not to your customers. So we go back to our admin panel and just above the debug area we've got the developer client restrictions box. So if we expand this it enables us to add in a list of comma separated IP addresses. Any IP addresses listed in here will be able to view the template path hints and block name hints. And any other IP address will just see the main website without the hints. And that's pretty much it for this webcast. I'd say it was only a short one, so hopefully that's uh, given you some idea of how to start coding and making modifications to your templates and themes. If you found this webcast useful, just please remember to leave me a comment or rate the video. And it just leaves me to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon on another video tutorial from screencastworld.com.